And speaking of NASCAR, the NASCAR Cup Series returns to Martinsville Speedway tonight after it was delayed due to COVID-19. This is also the first ever night race at the paperclip. Our 10 sports team is live at the half mile of mayhem. So, Appy, Erica, of course, this is a big deal, even if fans aren't there, right? Yeah, we're talking about history here. And, Eric, they've been trying to get a night race at Martinsville probably for three decades feels like forever really what pushed this frankly is tv and the contracts once these contracts started becoming important and that what i like to call prime time money started <laughs> happening it really became important to be able to push these races into the night and uh, now we can do it that's exactly right and you know track president clay campbell mentioned that they wanted to check off two boxes here a night race and they wanted to race a little later in the year in order to appease those fans Ask any NASCAR driver, past or present, and they'll likely say Martinsville Speedway is on their short list of favorite tracks. It's just a racetrack that demands no mistakes, and that's what I like about it. It's definitely one of those racetracks that, as a NASCAR driver, you want to have a win at. Its unique paperclip design has intrigued fans, young and old, since its days as a dirt track decades ago. Now on the brink of history tonight, track president Clay Campbell says it's been a long time coming, but it will certainly be bittersweet. It's exciting. Like I said, I, I hate that we're doing it without fans, but it, it's, it's monumental on the front that we're doing so many things for a first. Midweek race, Wednesday night, prime time, under the lights. While having no fans will be a different feel for drivers, they don't expect major differences to the track tonight. And they're relying on experience with the past few playoff races that finished under the lights. Just you go back and look at your notes on, on that and what you feel like the track did, how it changed, and try to prepare that way. It's similar to a road course and how technical it is. You know, the road courses, you have to really be good using the gas and the brake and you know, your braking points. Uh, the car gets very, very light on entry there with the back tires, especially as the tires wear out. But racing legend Rusty Wallace seemed to know what time it was during his day, racking up seven grandfather clocks. The biggest thing I did to get to get all those victories was to, number one, take care of the car, but number two was get that thing handling really good. I worked really hard on my setup of my car. That was everything. As drivers get ready to start their engines, they will certainly be ready to shift in gear as Martinsville Speedway adds another historic moment to its rich history. Again, bit of a bittersweet moment, obviously, with the, the rain, rain in the forecast just a little bit, then COVID-19 keeping the fans away from the track. But it's a monumental moment nonetheless. Clay Campbell, track president, everyone looking forward to this night actually happening. Well, yeah, and they're they're excited about it. And if nothing else, it is hopefully a dry run That's it. for next year <laughs> because this could be a monster night for the track 